Again, this is one of the things where if, you know, the filmmakers had done some research, well, the, filmmakers, the game makers have done a little more research, but hey. Oh well. Keep in mind, Mr. Tiger, Diana is very ill. You must be gentle with her. Ah. Uh. Girl, she passed out from fright. Also, arguably, the chicken thing probably also pl plays in more into the stereotypes with African Americans. Indeed. Doctors say she only has a year left to live. So I know where this is going. I would never joke about that. She's lost all hope, so her body isn't fighting the disease. Uh. She's accepted her death, so now she doesn't do much with her life. I thought it would help if we gave her something to hope for, but now you may have ruined it. That's right. You may have killed. You may have killed her. Murder. Cut. Ah. Uh. Introduced you to because I thought you might give her some kind of hope. She goes on and on about you whenever we eat together. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I'm counting on you. A samurai always keeps his word, after all. Am I right? That is some very smooth gear shifting there, Mr. Sunnyside. Also, you just got played. Good, good. Then get to work. Yes. Yes, he was just manipulating you. And here comes a kitty. I do like, I, like, I do kind of like the animation during these sequences. Like, here's the thing. Just my microphone for a moment. Like, I've been playing Utawari Rumono, uh, the games, um, the, the PS4 games. Beaten Mask of Deception, I'm also on my side, off on the side, been playing um, Mask of Truth, and here's the thing. Like, you notice that, like, Karen's, in, in our visual novel sequence here, Karen's portrait is very, fairly well, is somewhat animated, like, links, her expression changes, and that sort of thing. Um, Utawari Rumono, a game for the PS4, which comes on a Blu-ray disc, doesn't have this much animation. Now it is that game is fully voiced, whereas this last line here from uh, Subaru was not. But you get my point. Also, I have a kitty.
Huh. Recovered fairly well. I still don't get how you don't understand the concept of people eating birds. But that, uh, that, that would be surprising to you. Like poultry and uh, game fowl have been part of like you know people's diets for a very long time. Probably shouldn't take you to Chinatown. I'd hate to see how you'd react to Peking duck. Uh, it was going so well, too, and then we just hard shifted straight into super angst. This isn't how the concept of death, uh, 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 of like, I don't know if they're trying to do something about raising the death with dignity here, but that's not how that works, or, or positions it to suicide. That's not how that works. You're not helping. Physical therapy, basically. This is a little too silly for you, Miss Paticon.
All right. Okay. Uh huh. So that explains her pop, her illness. So actually, having her be able to better control her Numa and use it in that way would probably actually work better. I think we can pull that off. Like, I get that your injury prevents you from sortying now, but you think it'd still be able to, be able to perform on stage. Particularly Hamlet. There are roles in Hamlet that aren't, you know, super combat intensive. Or, like, physically energy intensive. Like, there's the Gravedigger. Um, it's a good banter role. Uh, oh, there's Osric. Osric's a great one. Uh, great, like, not very physically intensive role. But it's a good on-screen role. If you haven't... For those of you who aren't familiar with Hamlet, um, if you watch the Brannock version, um... That one does include Osric. And played by Robin Williams, no less. Uh, really, like, Brannig's version of Hamlet, probably one of my favorites. All right. I mean, I'm also acting from knowledge that, <laughs> that um, Shin doesn't have. I don't mean the fact there, I mean in terms of, uh, the, um, the fact that we had the flat the scene with her psychically healing the bird, which we hadn't seen earlier. No, that's not what the line is about. The, the line in question is about Hamlet contemplating suicide. Um, so, but actually, part of the reason why I don't like that speech that much of in, in Hamlet, um, because it also comes in before the play within the play scene. Uh, like if it had come in earlier in the play, like. After, like, after, like, before the wedding, or, like, just after the wedding, or that sort of thing. Um, that'd be one thing. Or, after the death of Ophelia. Another place where it could work. Uh, here, like, like where, where it does, less so. I actually like the, uh, what a work is man speech more. Um, I like the Hamlet directing the players' speech. Um, that sort of thing. Cool. Um, I like... It basically is just a speech. I like the bit with Hamlet getting his uh, two friends to swear to secrecy um, as to what they've seen. There was a ghost. 
I do wonder if that line, to be or not to be, has, was localized and translated differently into Japanese. And so, that portion of the meaning was somewhat masked. Um, like, from the perspective, um, in... Um, for when uh, Star Trek VI... They adapted that line to be or not to be into Klingon. They changed it to to exist or not to exist. Um, as far as for the, the the Klingon words, which thus allowed for a double meaning in terms of in the context of that film, with both the concept of. of Deliver to die, and also in terms of for the, the Klingon identity of the Klingon Empire, which, and that sort of thing, with how because General Chang's the one who's saying it, and he's part of the conspiracy, and that sort of thing. I digress dramatically. I I like Shakespeare. Well, uh, what should she do with the time she has left? Um, I think she should try to get better. I mean, on the one hand, giving her a performance to do certainly gives her something to focus her attention and that sort of thing. But... Like, I don't know how well this would actually work as a... from a theatrical stand... from a um, practicality standpoint since she's stuck in a wheelchair. Um... And even then, like, I probably, well, probably want to do, like, take her to the play first, get her hyped about the theater, and then suggest acting. All right. Okay. Everything that lives must die. That is the way of the world. That poor bird was looking death in the eye. Just like me. Just stop thinking. Here and now. All right, samurai. What's your move? How will you save a dying girl? This is a pretty good place to wrap for this time. Um, next time... We go take Diana to go a tour of New York. <laughs>